What's going on guys, it's your broski, Lil Nightcat, coming at you with a brand new video, and today, I am actually going to be reviewing the new album that Kanye West has put out called Jesus is King, and I just listened to it, and I basically, I wrote a review and kind of like an opinion on what I thought of like every song on the whole album, and I'm about to tell you guys all about it, so stay tuned, make sure you guys are following my social medias, they will be down in the description, excuse my voice because I am a little bit sick with a cold, so... Honestly, I've been trying to get better. I thought it was gonna drop at midnight, but it didn't. So I'm thinking, is he gonna wait like another week or something? And then I woke up this morning and I found out that he had released it. So I immediately broke out my notepad on my iPad. So I'm like reading off this. And I was like, I gotta listen to this and write down everything about it and make a video about it. So let's get into it. So the first song on the album was called Every Hour. And honestly, I really think the piano was like, the background of the song and the chorus really stood out and especially the women singing in the chorus of it really led the verse and the entire song and the transitions of everyone singing every hour like the actual word every hour it was like really cool the second song on the album was called Sela Soleil or something like that and the synthesizer in the background was really good. The hallelujah background singing was amazing with perfect tone, let me tell you. And also the drum beat that they kept having Phil in the song really gave it a movie trailer type vibe. Like I was thinking like they're gonna use the song in like a trailer for something I feel like. But yeah, that was that song. The next song after that was called Follow God. And the beginning of the song stood out because it had like an old school type of vibe. The keyboard feels really good in the song. And the background vocalist who's behind Kanye when he's singing is really interesting. And I do love songs that have like the double verse kind of like switch and all that. And then I really liked how the beat was new. But the song also had like the old school sound to it. So the next song on the album was called Closed On Sunday. I really loved the acoustic guitar sound from like the beginning of it. And the sound mixing and the background vocalists is good. How they have it like together. And that is a, like a recurring theme on the album. Like people singing like joint verses and all that. And the next song was called On God. And I really like how the track has a pop type vibe. And let me tell you, 10 out of 10 with the keyboard and sound mix on the album. When I was listening at that point, it was just amazing. Even with the dueling keyboards, it really completes the sound on it. So the next song is called Everything We Need. And this was featuring Ty Dolla Sign and somebody named Aunt Clemens. I think I've heard of that name before. The intro vocals of all three of them was amazing. And I love the way the verse switches from singing to like the humming, if you guys have heard it. And it really fits well. And the beats switching around a little bit, but not too much, I think was really good too. The organ in that song was probably my favorite part too. And the next song was called Water. The way the guitar type sound behind Aunt Clemens singing is a great start to it and it sounds like pure gospel and how Kanye started rapping in the middle of the track after the gospel part was over was a very good transition. Alright so now to the next song called God Is. The woman singing her gospel verse and the drum beat at the same time was really good. The mix of the background gospel singing and the main guy that's singing, it's not Kanye, it was like some other guy singing that song, was really good. So the next song is called Hands On and the vocal mix start is really good. I think the sound has like the best sound in it so far. After that we have use this gospel so now Kanye singing in front of the background humming is like really good and I'm wondering if they kind of edited the humming because honestly like it sounded so clear to the point where maybe Kanye had his uh, producer and his group like kind of like skim it and make it very clear clips and Kenny G were featured in that song and their dual transition I think was amazing and the saxophone part was so cool how it just switched right in the middle of the song and I honestly think that was like the best switch on the whole album because where do you hear like a saxophone on a song? And then the final song, Jesus is Lord. The big band background behind Kanye was really cool. Like where else do you hear like a big band, like horns and all that, and then like a rap song? Like, come on, like you can't name anyone else. Like Kanye, you're the GOAT. So overall, I think the album was great because of many things. Like one, the sound was complete. Two, the organ and keyboard was always a constant theme of like every song and the gospel backgrounds were spot on. Every feature on the album was good, especially Ty Dolla Sign. I think that was like my favorite song, Everything We Need. 
and the theme switches on many of the songs were very interesting. The way Kanye did it on his album was like really cool. And like it was cool because like there were some features, but it wasn't like packed with features. Like you had Kanye do his own thing on a lot of the songs and he fixed in some guy, like he fixed Ty Dallas on it. He's got Kenny G on one. He's got Aunt Clemens on a couple of them, but it's not like every song has a like a half feature, but it was really cool. So honestly, I don't know if I could rate the album because I'm not a professional at rating albums, but if I had to, I'm gonna honestly say off the top of my head that I would give the album like an eight and a half out of 10 because like I was really, really entertained like first time listening to it and I'm probably gonna listen to it again and download it on my Spotify playlist. So if you haven't heard Kanye's new album, go check it out, please. Like even if you don't like rap, just give it a try. You know what I mean? You don't have to like get into it. At least go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and leave a like if you want me to make some more type of review albums of artists, songs, or whatever you want, like not just reaction videos, even though like I love making those so much. Yeah, my social medias will be down in the description. Please go follow and add me. Shout out for shout out, always on Snapchat. I'm also selling sneakers, so hit me up on any of my social media. Let me know. Once again, it's been your broski, Lone Night Cat, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Beat maker.